Today, Detroit bus drivers are upset with unsafe working conditions, or what they're calling unsafe working conditions. They want change this morning. Yeah, they plan to hold a rally at 10 a.m. today, all to improve safety on buses. 7 Action News reporter Malcolm Maddox now joins us live with more. Malcolm, what is the latest here? Well, you know, Vic, they want safer working conditions, and that seems like a reasonable request. They work with the public all day. They're constantly interacting with the public. Some of those interactions can border on the combative or become downright combative. As a matter of fact, the head of the union that represents the driver says in the last nine months, eight drivers have been hospitalized. We have one of the encounters on videotape. It made it to YouTube where a driver gets into a fight with a passenger. Uh, according to the comments on the page, it says that the passenger may have spit at the driver. After that, an altercation occurs, and they get into an all-out knockdown, drag them fight. Then there are other instances that may not necessarily be uh, violent encounters, but uh, safety concerns nonetheless. You have a guy who was smoking crack on a Detroit City bus, or what was said to be crack. This person is right behind the driver, or feet away from the driver, and these are the conditions that they're working under, and they say this has got to stop. So those would be reasonable requests for safety. Something that's going to be a bit more challenging is the request that they have to restore 24-hour bus service. Obviously, that takes money. Money Detroit does not have at this point. And so that may not be um, uh, the easiest re request to honor. They also want the buses that they work on all day to be cleaner. Another reasonable request. They will uh, voice all of their concerns and all of their requests. Later today, they will have a rally, and it'll take place from 10 until 12. They'll march from campus marshes to the Culminate Young Municipal Center. We will have more on the rally in later editions of 7 Action News, as well as online, WXYZ.com. For now, that is the very latest. From right across the street from the Rosa Parks Transit Center, Malcolm Maddox, 7 Action News. Thank you, Malcolm.